Okay. What I'm doing today here is I'm working on the little CNC lathe and I'm creating the dome. This is the factory cotter bolt. Okay. And I'm creating the dome on here and cutting it off to length. So I will, what I did was I, I put the dome on first. Okay. And then I'll cut it off to length. And for for setting this, I'm just using this uh, this gauge. You've seen uh, uh, I might have used it before. Brad uh, has used it recently. Tactical keychains. Um, so that that certainly gets it close enough. Um, because that other end will still be turned down and stuff like that. So when I uh, hit start here, it will come over, it will do the cutoff, and then it'll cut the radius, and then it'll pull back just a little bit and wait for me to pull the next uh, amount of stock out. Now this is just going to be a real simple change here, but I've been noticing that, you know, when I go to use this tool, when I go to use this tool, uh, my the cutter uh, that I have in, the cutting tool that I have in there is so close still that I'm having trouble getting that in there and i got to turn it a certain way. So let's just go in here and do a quick little edit because it's where it parks, so it's real easy to find. So we just tell it to edit. We'll just scan all the way down to the end here, and I want the X. I'm telling it to come out and park at 0.75. Well, let's just make that uh, 1.25 because that's a half inch. Whoops. Uh, that's a half inch more. But keep in mind that that's that's uh, diameter. So I'm only gonna. It's only gonna move out of the way half of that. So. Another quarter inch ought to be enough. So we just close that out. Yes to the change. Alright, this is uh, stainless steel. I've been cutting up a bunch of these just because I bought the rod, so I figured, you know, I might as well make a few stainless steel ones. Uh, the rod's are a lot more expensive, though. Um, like, well over twice the cost. Um, anyway, so then I've been... I should have done it with the other ones, and I will do it with the drill rod on the on the other ones, probably. The, the stainless doesn't have quite as nice a surface finish, so I'm hitting it with some Scotch-Brite and then telling it to start cutting. So uh, I'll do that first, and then it'll cut, and uh, you get to see an idea of just how nice it's cutting the stainless steel. Same feed speeds, everything's identical. I have not changed anything uh, from doing the uh, drill rod ones.
Okay, um, just for FYI, the RPM is 1450 and the feed rate is 4 inches a minute through all of it. Oh, no, I take that back. The, uh, the feed rate on the cut, um, on the cutoff is, uh, 1.5. It's 4 on the, the, while well, the radius is cut.